Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the groups. Yeah, everyone know what is it groups but how to use it in Revit it's because it's a bit different I will show you in this lesson. So this is lesson it's a really short one but it's more informative than you think. So let's get started. So the first question uh, where and uh, how we should use the uh, our groups. Uh, okay, the you should use the groups only when you have, for example, the type levels, uh, because um, let's say you have like six levels or maybe eight levels, maybe eighty levels, and you not will gonna create some changes for on each level. That's why you need the groups. So uh, let's I'll select everything what I can see on the my 3D view. Uh, I mean the my typical level. And after that I will go to the create the group, let's go to the create a group and let's write like this is my type uh, level uh, 1. Let's say OK. So this is my type level and now I will copy to the other levels. Just copy, make sure you are copy using the copy paste from the clipboard and after that align to select level. So let's use it, I don't wanna save right now and let's choose for example from the level 1 to level 3 and say OK. Just a few seconds and as you can see now I get the one same typical group in all these levels. For example, if I will go inside to this group because uh, now group it's like a family. Uh, if I will go to the inside this is group, just edit group and for example I will delete this uh, window. It's immediately will delete for from all of them. You can see my the groups uh, settings, I'll say finish. And now immediately we will delete it from everywhere. So the groups helping you uh, control the same levels with the same functionals, with the same, uh, for example, the um, elements. So let's continue. Let's go, for example, again to the uh, level uh, zero. And uh, in one ta in one day, for example, you did some lines. Maybe you did here the something like these strange things. Okay, you did it, and you wanna copy it to the everywhere. You have the some few choices. You can select your group and after that go to the edit group and you can add some things. So I add the some things and you can see this is now highlight. So this is things it's not adding to my group. But I will do it now right now. And I'll say finish. So if I will go now to 3D you will see the my last level now have these things too and all levels have the same things. But let's say you can see it's not to the full height but I want the full height. I will go for example uh, even in this group, this is same group, uh, I will go to the inside of this group and I'll say uh, this all uh, this all walls should be go to the should be go to the level 3. Oh not level 3 I'm sorry to the uh, 3 meters height because here I don't have uh, uh, one more level 3 meters height. So let's 3 meters height. So it's full height the level. Let's say finish and you will see now it's everywhere same. So you can see now we get the something like a shaft. Okay, so this is you understand. But in one day you understand if you are going inside to the group you understand you don't need this, uh, this uh, window anymore. You can do the, the same thing but you can remove it. Let's say OK and what what's going on? Uh, you still have here the your uh, gap and you have the uh, your the window. Yes, because the window can see your walls and the uh, window can um, still make the some um, holes inside in your wall. I will delete this for this wall. It's okay. I I mean this window and it is okay. But if you will do the other things, for example, let's go to the group and I will remove this wall and I'll say okay. This is really a bad thing because if you will uh, delete this wall in the next time your uh, window now cannot be placed anymore. This is really totally wrong. Don't do that because uh, your group still will have your windows. It's really bad. Don't do it, these things, okay? So let's go back. Let's, let's go back. And now we will speak about the uh, type of the group and what's going on with the groups if you're changing not on not right you're changing it. 
Let's say in one day you understand like you don't need a group anymore and you will delete for example all the groups and last group uh, you don't wanna delete you will ungroup. This is actually the same but let's un just ungroup it because I wanna save my geometry. And the other day you already understand you did uh, your plan right and you wanna create group it again. So you will select it, you will uh, go to the group and you will write like type level one level one so and you and you're saying okay and what's going on Revit is saying like you already using this name how come because we did we already deleted our group but still Revit is saying like we are using the name because if you will delete your group from the your uh, uh, view po viewport, it doesn't mean you delete de deleting these groups from the, uh, your project. Because if you will go inside to the our project browser and you will find here the groups, uh, just open up the model, you will find your groups still here. You can even place this group because this is group now. It's something like a uh, something like a bottle, you know, because uh, Revit now making uh, like own family inside your project browser. So till you will not will delete your group from the uh, from the groups from inside of the project browser you're not able to use the same name this is really uh, it's actually not bad it's just saving your uh, your project from the some mistakes i will delete this group i don't have any groups now inside placed here i just right click here and delete this group now i'm able to create the same group with the same name the big mistakes when you for example working with your plan right and you want make for example groups of the doors don't do that for example like this don't do never do that just i'll write the doors i will show you why doors and i'll say okay so it looks like okay but uh it's it's not will really work don't do groups to, of the doors or for example of the your uh, windows because if you will delete again some of the walls or you will change for example some location of your doors uh, you will get uh, some mistakes later on not right now but later on you will get mistakes and you set your project if you want to create the groups you should create the groups with the host thing so what does it mean for example we have our door our door uh, placing on the host wall so you should create the group with the wall so uh, like just separate uh, uh, for example the doors and walls you cannot do that you should create with together with these walls like this yes like this you possible to create the groups it will be okay this is not a problem this is make your uh, make your uh, project more safety, more life without uh, any problem in the later on. So let's create the other situation. Here is your uh, level, typical level, right? So I will select everything and I will create the group. And I'll say this is group one. Okay, so I will just copy it, for example, to the level two and level three. No, only, only just level two. Let's say okay. Here is my the second second copy of this uh, type of the group. So I will now the copy this one. Let's say I will copy to the level one. Okay, and now I can create the other type of this group with just if I will change the name. You can do that. Just go to the edit type and here just duplicate and say this is number two. Let's say okay. And now this is different group. If you will go now to the uh, project browser groups and you will open the models, you will see group one, group two. This is really uh, different groups. If, for example, I will delete here the wall, uh, I mean the windows. Uh, no, I'm not delete wall. I will delete all the windows from this side. And I'll say OK. You will see it's not changed only, it's, it's only changed on uh, only in this side not here not here only here so this is cool because uh, you can control your groups just from the one you can create one group after, after that just rename other group and you already will give the other type
And yes, uh, don't forget you can replace one group to the other group, like you're doing, for example, with the windows or with the walls. So what I mean, for example, here we have the group two. You know that we already did it. And if you select them, you can able change to the group one, and it's immediately we changed to group one. This one you can change to the group two, uh, but it's not a good way. Uh, if, for example, uh, when you want make some different uh, plans. So this is not a good way, good way uh, to use, for example, the different plans as design option. So if you want to make the variable things, use design option. The groups, it's not about it. And later on, you will get the problem with the replacing model. So uh, better for the some design options, use design options to the uh, groups. It's just to keep your model uh, more smooth. And for example, in one time when you have the ty more typical walls, uh, typical levels, you can change just by one click all these typical levels. It's only about that one. So uh, I think this is more than enough uh, to understand like overall what is the groups. Uh, if you want more deep information about the groups, what you cannot do inside the groups, what you can do for what you should use and how you should separate your uh, building by groups, uh, I can show you later on. Just remember one thing, don't create inside the groups uh, new family never because later on again you will get the problems when for example you will copy your group you will copy the your new family so i mean when you're working inside the groups here don't create new family you finish your uh, changing inside the groups create the family after that go inside the family or uh, inside the, the group and place your family uh, to the right position Okay guys, thank you for watching and I think this, that's it for today and see you next time.
To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find a bottle of this Dynamo scripts, or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.